Okay. So we're back with the uh, daily Parsha Insight. Monday, the 19th day of Nisan. We're going to discuss a verse in this week, Pasha, Pasha Smini, chapter 19, verse 22. Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them. He then descended after having offered up the sin offering, the ascent offering, and the peace offering. So three offering. Sin offering, ascent offering, and peace offering. The first stanza of the priestly blessing is, May God bless you and watch over you. Which means, May God bless you with abundance and watch over you so that no, so that no one steals your wealth. How does that help to be blessed with abundance and someone takes it away from you? So, Yevorecha Hashem. Hashem will bless you with abundance. Ve'ishmerecha and watch over you so that no one steals your wealth. Allegorically, the abundance referred to here is our success in our efforts to refine ourselves and to serve God wholeheartedly. The blessings needs to be guarded from be stolen, since the forces of evil within us often try to hijack the spiritual excitement that we generate in prayer, transforming it afterwards into righteous indignation or an awakening of physical desire. We therefore ask God to not only bless us with success and spiritual refinement and the experience of spiritual ecstasy, but also with the ability to properly focus or properly focus it and channel it into pure and wholesomeness and wholesome directions. So we see we see from here that on the simple level you have Yivorech HaShem, Vishmorech HaShem will bless you with abundance and it will also protect you protect your wealth. But on the other hand, Hashem will also bless us spiritually to accomplish everything that we need to accomplish, all the things that we have to refine. And the excitement that we generate should remain in the realm of, of sanctity rather than being used uh, to other physical things. So this is obviously the teaching of the Rebbe. And uh, on the section on Gula, we are going to learn from a book called Oyer Hagonus. If you're looking at the Chayenu, it's on page 146. Oyer Hagonus. So Moshe told Pao that God was about to send another miraculous plague against him. While distinguishing between Egyptian and Jewish property, thereby sparing the Jews from damage. So Moshe then announced that the plague would only begin the next day. He told him it's going to start tomorrow. Tomorrow God will do this thing in the land. The book of Exodus chapter 9 verse 5. So the word machar means tomorrow but also means in the distant future. The deeper message in this verse is that God will do this thing upon the earth in the distant future with the arrival of the final redemption. The arrival of the final redemption, God will again send miracles and plagues. He will again make a wondrous distinction between His people and other nations, and He will again rescue His people with a great salvation. May we see the great salvation speedily and immediately in our days. Buchen Tiu. Um, a Yaakov video will shortly uh, follow.